Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be for Virgos. Um, you could have Virgo in your chart, in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo yourself. Um, but yeah, let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Wow, Ace of Cups. So cool. I love this as the first card out. It's beautiful. So a brand new beginning in love. Um, you guys are either... Like, I feel like you're trying to manifest, yeah, a new beginning in love. So some of you are meeting someone new in the dating world. Some of you are meeting a new soulmate. Or some of you even have a new start with, like, an old love or someone from your past. But they're coming back in and you guys are reconciling. And it's a beautiful new beginning. And it's not like, I mean, a toxic ex. I mean, this time, like, it's working out, right? Like... So that is really cool. It could be with a Cancer because we have the Chariot here. So Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So I feel like you guys have really healed and moved forward. You've learned um, some lessons from the past. Maybe there's been certain things that have kept you single for a long time. Or you've learned, you've mastered the lessons of like how to be good on your own. Like whole and complete wow holy crap yeah like you've gone through a lot of drama i feel like in your love life before in the past and you've been with people that were either not good for you and you've moved forward from those lessons and like you've learned how to be good on your own so the universe is sort of blessing you with i mean this may inspire of course <laughs> some people to come back from the past and apologize it might even be some like BS apologies, but I see that because you know your worth and you know your value with the Empress card here, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but I feel like you're able to see people's true colors and you'll, you're able to see through um, people like whether they have genuine intentions for you or not. You've been blessed with like the, the vision but I also feel like the universe is blessing you in a way that is like they're not going to send you possibly potentially toxic people anymore because you know your worth and you know your value. So you're coming into like the season of marriage basically with the four of wands here. Some of you are going to end up with somebody from the past who you're really surprised by because you didn't think that it would work out with them. But this is, people are seeing you as marriage material, you know, husband or wife material, which, you know, Virgos can definitely be like great partners, life partners, because you guys are the sign of service, right? Um, Virgo, it's always, how can I help you? How can I, that's why you guys make such good partners. But this is for the healthy and healed Virgos only who have learned their lessons I'm sorry, this is a general reading. It's not going to be for everybody. Obviously, there's still people out there, Virgos, who are learning their karmic lessons and going through toxic battles or cycles. This, then this reading is not for you. This is only for those of you who have learned your lessons and healed and moved forward and have been single and um, know what it's like to be single and take care of yourself. You've learned what it means to take care of yourself, what you need to do. Um, to take care of yourself. Maybe you've even, even researched it. Maybe you've even been, um, been to therapy. and um, Or maybe you've even researched things like your love languages. Like you've been doing the work, doing your work on yourself, you know, which is a lot of hard work. And it's why a lot of people are, people are held back within their own life because they don't want to do the work and they don't want to learn these lessons. So they stay stuck in karmic or toxic cycles or relationships you know we have the hierophant here some of you are definitely getting married or engaged wow if you are congratulations if you're watching this um but someone wants to marry you someone sees you as marriage material like i said for some of you it is someone from the past who's coming back in we have the king of cups here so it could be with a water sign so that's cancer scorpio or pisces you could also have water in your chart as your moon rising or Venus. Okay, this is interesting. The Seven of Swords because the rest of the whole reading is like beautiful cards and then this is a negative card. So 
the only way I would read this is that because the in the past there may have been people who have tried to deceive you. Um, they've lied to you about, maybe played games with you, tried to tell you they wanted to be with you when they really didn't. Or um, just so that they could get some action, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so this is also, although there's some of you I see that this is genuine, th this also means that for some of you, for a small portion of you, you need to be careful or watch out because although... Um, like I said, for some of you, this is genuine. Someone actually wants to marry you. For some of you, this is actually like um, a facade, a fake mask that they're going to pretend that they want marriage with you. Um, let me go ahead and clarify, actually. With my clarifying deck, let me just clarify this Seven of Swords. Because it is always interesting and it doesn't make sense um, when like a negative card comes up in such a good reading. Okay, so this is somebody, Page of Swords, somebody spying on you. Yeah, that's a little creepy. Let me see. So so this is not for everybody, but this is for somebody, um, some of you. Some of you have someone from the past. It's a creeper, a stalker, who doesn't have like good intentions, basically. They're, they're going to try to act like they want to marry you when they really, they don't have good intentions. Um, so it, it also could mean that some, some of you that are finding the love of your life or the one that you want to end up with, and you are actually getting married to this person, it might cause someone to be jealous who sees this going on. Someone from your past, it could be an ex or someone who's just obsessed with you. They see you getting like something good and they are jealous so they want to come after you and they want to either distract you from like this good thing happening or they want to ruin it for you so be careful whoa oh my god <laughs> this is the best reading i've done so far um that's crazy there's going to be a lot of different people that might come forward and try to stop you from achieving this happiness but I feel that I see an Aries here or the Fool is a brand new beginning. It doesn't matter though. I feel like it's not going to stop you. Um, we have Temperance here. And so some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But it's coming up right underneath the Four of Wands. This is big twin flame energy. Some of you are definitely coming into union with your twin flame. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> you might even be marrying this person or having children with them. I can't believe it's reading. This is insane. Look at this. Two of Cups. <laughs> this is somebody who is your equal. You guys have found the balance between each other. You see everything has become perfectly aligned. Everything that you see in them, they see in you. Like, oh my god, this is insane. It could be a Scorpio. Six of Cups. Could be someone from the past. Like, I've been saying that this whole reading. And nothing told me, I didn't have a card that told me that until I drew the Six of Cups. This means someone from the past, someone you already know. But I just felt it already because I had my intuition. This is amazing. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> You're going to hear from this person soon because this is the Ace of Swords. This is the Ace of Truth and Communication, Clarity. They're going to come forward and tell you this, tell you this, admit how they feel. And they're going to be successful. They're going to be in the limelight. This is going to be something in the public. You're going to receive public recognition. This could also be the proposal. Like if it's in front of everybody in a public place. That's what that is right there. Wow. This is, I don't know. I think this actually might be the best reading I've ever done. Period. This is insane. Like I said, we got a little hater over here, but it doesn't even matter. It might be just a warning from spirit that, like, even though people are jealous, like, recognize that, but just don't let it stop you, and you won't. Like, this is so incredible. Marriage, happily ever after, children. This is so beautiful. I hope it resonates for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if it does, comment below. And if you want a personal reading, um, hit me up. My, my email's in the description box. 
and congratulations if this is for any of you this could also be like my readings are timeless if you notice I don't ever put a date or a time on it so what that means is this could happen anytime for you anytime in your life actually if this resonates for you it could be for you so this may not happen for some of you for years it could be happening this year it could be happening next year I have no idea you know and for each of you it's gonna be different but I hope it does happen for for all of you. Why not? <laughs> or I should say those that deserve it. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it won't. It won't happen unless you do the work and unless you do, like, deserve it. You know, the universe doesn't just bless anybody like this. So, But, yeah, this is so beautiful. This is the most beautiful reading I've ever done by far. So cool. And I have Virgo rising, so I hope it does happen for me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> one day. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye.